Avast, 7. Public Data Internet Security Suite, a closer look. And this is the summary, and as you can see, the system is fully protected. some of the statistics since I just installed this we we'll look at what's happened today I haven't done any checking on my emails I haven't used the internet here because I haven't used it. Same for this one. see the firewall is working and is doing a nice job of making sure nothing gets to my computer. Here are the different scans available. Nice feature is the boot time scan, which has a chance to check files before most of the operating system ever starts and you'll be able to look and see what the results are since I haven't done a scan there'll be nothing in here real-time shields and the flashing that you see going on that's actual activity happening so this is live look at it a little bit closer. The file uh, shields. And there's the traffic as it goes through and it's being checked. The bottom tells you the different files that are being checked. back up to the file system shield and let's take a look and see what some of the settings are that are available. And what you see on here are all of the default settings. This is the only one I've changed, and I went from in the mode from auto to ask. I'd like to know what is going to happen when Sandbox gets in. I may not want it to run Sandbox because I happen to know it's a perfectly safe program. But if you're not sure, this is one place where you'll be able to catch viruses before they ever get to your system.
exclusions go. Viruses automatically go to the check to the uh, virus chest. These are suspicious files, or actually, probably suspicious suspicious files. Again, everything is going to the chest. You can always recover something from the chest if you delete it; it'll be gone, and you won't be able to reverse anything. The more packers you check on this thing, the longer it will take. And if you have to record a file, this is the place to do it. You can send it directly to the virus lab, where they can analyze it, and immediately, if it's found to be an actual virus, update the virus database so that everybody in the community is protected. Now let's take a look at the fire, firewall itself. I've set this up as my home computer because that's what it is. It's running through my internet service provider. Let's look at some of the settings. I'm using again the default. settings get made for the sandbox. Auto sandbox is where the system or the program itself decides whether something should be looked at in the sandbox mode. Safe zone, a browser that in no way is ever touched by anything from the outside. So if you want to do some banking, some shopping, and you want to be 100% sure that nothing can get to your private information, then this is what you'll use. chance to run your browser sandboxed if that's what you'd like to do. Just remember if you run it sandboxed things will be a little bit slower. You are of course much much safer sandboxed since nothing ever touches your system. Got a friend who needs some help? If you have the expertise this is what can be used to help them. On the other hand if you're the one with a problem and you have a friend who can help you, this is also the place to go. Allow remote means they get to use your system. Control remote means you're going to help somebody else. Now if you have any sites that you want to block so that the browser can't go there, you add them in here. A good place to find things that you don't want your kids to get to. This way you can manually do updates, since this thing does updates uh, 
on the push basis, and there really isn't any need to touch any of this. This is the trial version, 30 days since it's beta, there are going to be more releases. At this point, it's silly for me to try to even attempt. Besides, I use the free version, so this for me is only for beta testing. The initial scan had nothing suspicious in it, so of course nothing wound up in the virus chest. Here you can generate some information so that the folks who do the helping know what's happening on your system. And this is what you get. And here are some of the other products offered by Avast. That pretty much wraps, wraps up the initial look at Avast 7 Internet Security Suite from their beta release.